There are a lot of mysteries in Fallout 76. One that we're going to be taking a deeper look at within this video is the Flatwoods Monster and its capabilities. The Flatwoods Monster is a very, very rare encounter. So rare, some players haven't even witnessed it in the game. Just like how some players haven't ever witnessed the Mothman, especially the glowing variant you can encounter, this one is way more rare than the original one. A lot of the times, even if you do manage to encounter it, it'll just vanish, just like the Flatwoods monster sometimes does. It just teleports away. Since some players haven't ever witnessed it in-game, I thought I'd get a little deeper about it, starting off with its interesting capabilities. It is actually able to control people, things, and creatures. So, if you think about it, the Flatwoods monster can win in a fight against any other enemy that's hostile with it within the game, because it can control it. So whatever is hostile with the Flatwoods monster won't actually attack it because it will end up controlling it. And once it's controlled, it has a choice to make it attack us or whoever it wants to attack or not. This includes taking control of machines. So it doesn't technically have to have a brain to be controlled. For example, your own base defense can be controlled by it. Any other type of creature as well. Yes, including the Mothman and even the Scorch Beast Queen. Yeah, that's right, the queen of all the Scorch Beast, the freaking in-game boss. So knowing this is a prime example that it can take control of anything. Only thing that it can't take control of during a fight, for some reason, is us. It's kind of odd to think about. But anyways, what exactly happens when it does manage to take control of the Scorch Beast Queen? This is an extremely rare sight, what you're seeing here. And nothing too interesting happens when the Flatwoods monster does take control of the Scorch Beast Queen. Sure, it's an awesome and rare sight to see, because you never see the Flatwoods monster down in this vicinity. So just seeing the Scorch Beast Queen turn all purple from its control is definitely a sight to see. By the way, in case you didn't know, every enemy that the Flatwoods monster is taking control of is purple, as you can see here. And the Flatwoods monster seems like it just doesn't die from other enemies because anything that's a threat to it at all, it immediately controls. It doesn't necessarily control everything around the vicinity immediately, just once it seems to be a threat to it. Pretty interesting. One of my main reasons over me making this video is from a previous video that I created, which was seeing what happens when we nuke the crash space station. We were trying to trigger aliens, but within the comments of that video, someone had mentioned that the Flatwoods monster could control the Scorch Beast Queen, and it got quite a bit of attention, so I decided that maybe a lot of the community never knew this was possible and could find this interesting. This is absolutely insane to see actual proof of it, especially if you didn't even realize that it could control like this in general. And like I mentioned, this video was chain reacted to be put into existence because of my previous nuking experiment with the crash space station. Yeah, the outcome might have not have been what we were hoping for, but we did get some interesting feedback down in the comments section. Sure, yeah, that one guy who commented about how the Flatwoods monster could control the Scorch Beast Queen, but we also got other people saying that they haven't even seen the Flatwoods monster and some pretty deep stories. So that was it for me. Once I was starting to see all the feedback, I knew a lot of the community found the Flatwoods monster just as interesting as I do, which is great because I like getting into the unknown, especially over this game. So to wrap up this video, to get a little deeper with the Flatwoods monster, I want to go ahead and get into some alien abductions that were reported within these holotapes that I'm about to be showing you. So for the first one that I want to show you is this holotape that you can find over at Hillfolk Hot Dogs. This is located over in the forest region right around here. And once you get here, you just simply want to go over to the bus that has the burgers and dogs sign on top of it. And it will be located on top of this table right outside of the bus. As you can see, it's titled Colton Pickens Police Report. Let's go ahead and listen into this. This is Deputy D.B. Walton. Interview started at 3.35 a.m. All right, Mr. Pickens. Tell me everything that happened by starting from the beginning. I, I was out behind my hot dog stand, taking out the trash, and I saw this light shining from the woods. At first, I thought it was a hunter with a flashlight. But then, the light started changing. Changing? How? Well, the light started turning different colors. First it was blue, and then green, and then red. And then back to blue. Uh, uh, wait, me. 
maybe it was green, blue, red. No, no, actually it was, it's red, blue. Yep, we get it. What happened next? I suddenly got real dizzy, and, and I dropped the trash bag I was carrying. Next thing I knew, I was on the ground. I don't even remember falling. But I looked up, and that's when, that's when I saw it. It, can you be more specific? It was a man, but it also wasn't a man. It had gray skin and these huge black eyes, and and, and, and it was it was wearing like a spacesuit or something. What was really weird was that it wasn't saying anything, but I could hear it anyway. In my mind, it told me to follow it onto its spaceship. Flatwoods monster again? All right, I've heard enough. Colton Pickens, I'm arresting you for drunken disorderly conduct and indecent exposure. Indecent what? What are you talking about? I, I didn't do anything wrong. Colton, we found you on the roof of your shack, buck naked, yelling at the top of your lungs. Your blood alcohol was .23, and it took four deputies to get you into handcuffs. We all go on a bender now and then, but you need to keep it at home. What? No! Come on! You have to believe me! The monster made me drunk! It, it, it was experimenting on me, controlling my mind! When are you people gonna do something about the Flatwoods monster? It needs to be killed! I've had enough. Just get him out of here. This is Deputy D.B. Walton. Interview terminated. So, yeah, as you just heard from the holotape that you can get over at Hill Folks Hot Dogs, it seems like some kind of abduction happened to Colton Pickens. Anyways, these next ones that I wanted to introduce you to are some other alien abductions. I would love to know what your guys' thoughts are on all of this, but these next ones that we can find are located over in Flatwoods. There are two holotapes here that are talking about abductions happening, and the second one of these two is really really creepy so be sure to stick around for it the first one though you can find in flatwoods is located inside this tavern here behind the counter as you can see it's titled who goes there part one let's go ahead and listen into this our tale begins on a fateful night when a young pioneer scout red fisher finds himself in quite the predicament having taken a spill and fallen into a dark place <sighs> Where am I? Jack? Biff? Mr. Bailey? Can anybody hear me? I can hear you. Who's there? I, I can't see you. Me? My name's Sally. What's yours? Fred. Are you okay, Fred? I think so. My head's a little woozy. Must have hit it when I fell. Oh, no. Did you get lost, too? Well, sort of. What I mean is that I was camping with my scout troop by the lake near Flatwoods. There were these lights kind of dancing in the sky. Me? I guess. Anyway, we heard some weird noises, and the guy's double dog dared me to go look, so I did. All by yourself? You're really brave. Shucks. Thanks. I followed the noises to an entrance of an old mine. It smelled awful there, like rotten eggs, but worse. Suddenly, there was this bright light shining down on me. I was super scared and ran to the mine to hide, but everything felt strange. Like, my feet weren't even touching the ground. Everything went black, and I woke up here in the dark. That'll happen to me, too. We'll just do what my dad says. When you've strayed or lost your foot, do what's best and stay put. They said they'd bring him soon. There are other people here? A very good question indeed. Tune in next time to find out the answer in the chilling conclusion of Who Goes There? The Strange Encounter in Flatwoods. So as you just heard right there, it seems like whatever happened to Colton Pickens also happened to this boy named Fred Fisher who met a girl named Sally in a really random location after he woke up from his blackout. This is something very similar to happen to Colton Pickens, except when he had to explain himself to the police 
they just thought he was lying. I mean, which is understandable. Anyways, there's actually another Who Goes There holotape that I want you all to listen into. And once again, I would love to hear all your guys' thoughts and opinions over these. That's the reason why I'm even bringing them up in this video. But yeah, part two can be found inside this mailbox here. Once again, in Flatwoods. Tonight, we bring you the final chapter of Who Goes There? A Strange Encounter in Flatwoods. In the last episode, Pioneer Scout Fred Fisher met a curious girl named Sally while hiding in the dark. But as it turned out, they weren't alone. There are other people here? Yeah, they probably just went to get more food. They'll be back soon enough. You can wait with me, and they'll give you food too. You just have to do what they want. What do you mean? When they want to play games with you. Games? What kind of games? I'm still learning the rules. Mostly, they're kind of boring, and only hurt when they use the needles. Needles? Yeah, you know, like at the doctor. This doesn't sound like any game I know. It sounds downright awful, and these people sound really bad. We have to get out of here. No, no, stay put, stay put, stay put, stay put. Okay, okay, stop screaming. Ah, the light, it's so bright. That's where they come in to bring food, or when it's time to play. <gasps> Sally, what's that helmet thing you're wearing? It looks like it's screwed into your head. But as you heard, uh, yeah, that one gets pretty creepy. Sally just sounds eerie, saying time to play over and over and over. I don't know, it just sounds eerie. And I would love to know your thoughts about all of this. I'd love to see conversations stirring up in the comments section of different topics. Of maybe like your first time encountering the Flatwoods monster. Or heck, maybe you even know more about these holotapes than what they're just saying. Because as you just heard in the Who Goes There holotape, they kind of get into detail over Fred Fisher and where he woke up at. Maybe someone knows a little bit more on the exact mine. I don't know. I'd just love to see some more knowledge being passed around over this topic. But that's for wrapping up this video, everybody. I'm out of here. Thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, peace.